Hi, welcome to NicheMarketNinja.com. My name is Nick Madison. I am a self-proclaimed niche market ninja. I've been doing niche marketing for about six years now, and over that six-year period, I've managed to amass a small empire of niche websites. The last count was about 280 websites, and those websites each generate anything from $5 a day to $500 a day process that I follow when trying to identify a new niche to tap into. So as I mentioned before, I've currently got around 280 websites, so as you can imagine, coming up with new niche ideas can be a challenge sometimes. But I've developed a particularly m particular methodology uh, in which there's a few pieces of software that I use as well as some free online tools to help me f discover niche markets to get into and I needed to create a methodology with that was going to be somewhat mechanical as I now outsource this process so uh, there needs to be not much thinking involved and it needs to be quite as I say mechanical so I'm going to take you through that process now first thing I'm going to do is head over to amazon.com and what I've done here is I've landed on the guitars page. I'm currently looking to go into uh, the musical instruments niche, in particular guitars. But something that I want to do is drill further down than just guitars and actually go into left-handed guitars. And as you'll see here from the search results on Amazon.com, there are a number of left-handed guitar products products ranging from $120 right up to a few thousand dollars and earning 6% commission currently on Amazon so I use Amazon as a base for the majority of my affiliate based uh, niche websites so the niche we're going to look into, do into today is l the left handed guitar niche now first thing I do is look for my foundation keyword which is going to be left handed guitar so, first tool I'm going to head over to is the AdWords keyword tool. And I'm not going to go into too much detail about some of these tools as you probably know them very well. Right, so I'm going to put in my foundation keyword here. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do with the results here is just change it from broad match to exact match. Now the reason I do that is quite simply I'm looking to find a, a keyword phrase which is going to be relatively uncompetitive but profitable at the same time and uh, searching for broad match is not a good true representation of, of, the, of the search volume. So an exact match will give you a better, a clearer, more exact ideas to the, the number of searches taking place every month so f change it to exact match just change the order to sorting by average search volume highest at the top and then I'm going to just quickly build a list of anything from right at the top down to about the sort of 500 searches per month so I'm going to stop about there oh, let's take a couple more okay so once I've done that I've built up a small list on the side here and I am just going to open that up in a text file and I'm just going to open that text file and just quickly clean it up okay so I've got my keywords which I'm now going to start researching my keyword phrases and the first thing I'm going to do is try and identify which of these keywords has available domains. Now for a long time I used a fantastic tool uh, which I'll show you quickly, uh, ajaxwhois.com and this is a great lookup tool for domains. Uh, it allows you to, to take a, a keyword, let's say for example left-handed guitars, plug that in there and it does a very very fast lookup on domains 
Alright, but now what I do is, instead of using this tool for each keyword phrase, as certain niches will end up with a few hundred keywords in here, fortunately we've only got a few for this particular niche, but I use a free tool called the Domain Name Analyzer. And in Domain Name Analyzer, I'm just going to add that set of keywords. And I've just specified here to do a lookup on .coms and .orgs. And then just run the lookup all. Doing all the lookups, I'm just going to sort by availability, which will put all the freely available domain names right at the top. And as you can see, we've got quite a few here. So I'm just going to copy those now and just put those into Excel.